I just got a Google Pixel XL. And one of the first things that I want to do since the phone is two years old is to root it to make sure that I can continue to flash the latest updates that the developer community is coming out for it. And hopefully I can keep this thing running for a bit longer. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure or we need to verify whether or not the bootloader is already unlocked. We need the bootloader to be unlocked so that we can flash a custom recovery onto this uh, so that we can root it. So in order to check if this is rooted or if, if the bootloader is unlocked or not, we need to enable USB debugging. So to do that, we can go into the settings and you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and find developer options. It might be under system advanced. And if you scroll all the way down and it's not there yet, then we need to enable it. So go into system and about phone and you want to find your build number and just tap this a bunch of times until it'll ask you for your pin and once you do that it'll say now you are a developer and we can go back down to advanced and we'll see now this developer options panel has showed up so we'll want to click that and uh, you're going to want to turn on this USB debugging. Yes, okay. And if it will let you, um, whoops, we need to also enable OEM unlocking. That's going to unlock the bootloader. And we'll do that. Um, and if this shows up and it lets you unlock it right here, that means that the bootloader is not already unlocked, so we don't need to check it any further. Sometimes this option might be grayed out for you, and if it is, then we will cover how to fix that as well. First of all, we need to establish a connection between the computer and the Android device. To do that, we're going to use a program called ADB, Android Debug Bridge. And if you don't have that installed yet, you can just Google it to see how to install it for your operating system. I have it, so we're going to go ahead and plug in the phone. And then I'm going to type ADB devices. And we should see your device pop up here in this list. And then we can say ADB reboot bootloader. And we run that and you'll see that the phone has now rebooted on command from the computer and it is now in bootloader mode. And if you look really closely down here, it says device is locked, which means the bootloader is locked and we cannot root this yet. Now this device is locked. That's just talking about the bootloader. If you were able to flip the OEM unlock switch in the settings, great, you can proceed and do what I'm about to do. If not, then follow the steps listed here for the Google Pixel. And I'll have this link in the description. But if you were able to flip that switch in the settings for the OEM unlock, then now all you need to type is fast boot OEM unlock and you can see okay finished and over here on the phone it's saying are you sure you want to do this it will void your warranty probably um, and another thing that you need to keep in mind is when you unlock the bootloader it will wipe the phone you'll lose everything so make sure you have all your important stuff backed up before you do this um, we are in the clear so you use the volume buttons to select the option and then the power button to make your final selection and now it's working on unlocking the bootloader okay now 
we, it rebooted back to the bootloader screen and it can it says device is unlocked so we have successfully unlocked the bootloader okay so now we need to download a few things on the computer end they're going to get transferred over onto the phone first we need to install the custom bootloader and we're going to use something called twerp this is Team Win Recovery Project. It's one of the biggest open source custom recovery modes that you can get for your Android. And so we're just gonna click on the latest and greatest. And then we're gonna go over to devices. This is a Google Pixel XL. And they've got the download links. So here we go, we need to get the zip file and then you also need to get the corresponding version of the image file, both. And I already have those downloaded. Um, next, we're going to need to get a verified bootloader signer. And to do that, we can type verified boot signer and there's a xda developers page here that talks about especially the google pixel devices needing to get this so here at the bottom of this post is the verified boot signer basically what this is going to do is it's going to sign, digitally sign the twerp recovery image, uh, the bootloader, so that the device acknowledges it and allows us to use this custom bootloader. This little zip file is going to auto sign that for us so we don't really have to worry about the nitty gritty stuff. And lastly, we need to install the software that we're going to use to actually root the phone. And I like using one called Magisk. Here's their page. They actually don't have an official website. It's just on the XDA developers forum. And so you can go down here to the latest stable and download it. At the time of this video, they're on Magisk 18.0. And now that we have these three, or I guess four files, we're ready to get rooting. Okay, so now we need to load the image of Twerp onto the device. So we're gonna do fast boot boot, and then the path to the Twerp image that we have. And you'll see that it loads it onto the phone. And then the team win splash screen should come up like this. It'll make you enter your password, which ours is one, two, three, four. And here we go. We got to swipe to allow modifications. And now we need to load some software on here, we need to just copy over these zip files to the phone. So I'm going to come over here, go into the internal storage of the phone. And if you can't get into the internal storage of the phone here, then what you'll have to do is reboot the phone into the operating system. Um, you may have to skip all of the setup stuff so that you can plug it in and enable file transfer in the settings. And then I'm gonna also open up my downloads. And so we need to copy over the Magisk zip. We also need the verified boot signer zip, and we need the twerp installer zip, all three of those. Now, we're gonna come over here to the phone and hit install. 
and go down. And the first thing we need to do is get the bootloader on here. So run or click on the twerp zip and swipe to flash. This will install the twerp recovery uh, bootloader straight onto the device. Whereas right now we just have it running basically in memory from ADB. Okay, there we go. Um, now we're gonna hit the back arrow and do the verified boot signer. That'll just solidify it and allow the phone to trust this bootloader. Okay, and now uh, we want to reboot the system. Do not install the twerp app. And we actually do need to get back into twerp, but we're gonna go into it the, the real way. And I'll show you how to get into it the real way without ADB this time. The phone shouldn't take too long to boot up. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna power it off. And then hold down, volume down, and then the power button. And once you get back to your bootloader screen, you're gonna use the volume buttons until it shows recovery mode, and then hit the power button. And it should take you back into the twerp recovery mode here in, in a moment. All right, there's Team Win Recovery Project. And once again, passcode. Successfully decrypted. Okay, now we're gonna install and then click on Magisk. So Magisk is the program that is actually gonna root the phone. Now this is gonna do what is called systemless root, which means it doesn't actually modify the core system files. It kind of loads it on the side and then tells the phone to access different files sometimes to access the modified files. And this is the type of root that you wanna do if you don't wanna mess up things like uh, Android Pay so we'll swipe to confirm the root. And what you would like to do ideally is flash the root on as bare bones of an install as possible. And since we just reset the phone because we reset the boot, we uh, unlocked the bootloader, this is the perfect time to flash the uh, Magisk root. Okay, and we can reboot the system, don't install. And now the root should be done. Okay. So one, two, three, four. And if we go up into our apps, we should see, there it is, Magisk Manager. So that if you see that, that means your phone has been successfully rooted. And you can come into here and look at um, the modules that you have installed. And you can add modules that you've downloaded. So there you go. Your Google Pixel XL is now officially rooted. So there's all kinds of cool stuff that you can download and modify, or you can now just keep up to date with the latest updates. Hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up.